Hello guys and welcome back to this short but very important episode of Artisan Electrics. You might remember a week or so ago I posted a very dramatic thumbnail which annoyed some of you because it just said bankrupt. And yeah, we did play a little bit on the clickbaity nature of that title to make people watch the video because we felt it was important and it was important because one of our most beloved EV charging manufacturers went into administration. Muller EV trading under the name of Anderson EV went into administration. It was all across their website and lots of people were worried what would be the future of Anderson. These beautiful bespoke charging points that we have installed and I know some of you guys have installed and I know some of our customers were worried what's gonna to happen to my charging point. Is it gonna stop working? Is it gonna cause problems for my vehicle? Will the app functionality work and all that? Well, today I have good news for you. The last one was bad news. This is good news because Anderson has been resurrected, as I suspected it might do, by a company called Evios. Evios was established in April 2022, so it's a fairly new company itself, but it has essentially bought all of the intellectual property, etc., of Anderson, the shell that's left over of Anderson, including all the leftover products, the app which you'll be happy to note, which means that the Anderson, as we know it, seems like it will continue. So that's great news because it's a product that we love to install and hopefully we can still go on installing those in the future, but even better for customers who've already had one installed in the past, you don't need to worry because Evios have confirmed that they will be keeping all the existing app functionality running. So your charging point will still function at it as it should, and they're gonna be taking on all the warranty stuff from previous installs as well. So that is really fantastic news and a big win for anyone who's involved in Anderson in the past. Now there's still question marks though, because for the moment, employees of Anderson don't know whether they're gonna get their jobs back or not. We've actually had one of the installers from Anderson working with us a couple of days this week just to help him out and to get, know, get to know him a bit so that we can see if maybe he's a good fit for our company. But he's in a little bit of a tricky situation at the moment because he just doesn't know whether he's going to be offered his old job back or if he does need to permanently seek new employment. So keep all of those people in mind because it is still turbulent times for them, but at least there is a little bit of hope, a little bit of light at the end of the tunnel. I'm sure that there'll be more information revealed in the future. Evios obviously have their own electric vehicle charging point line that they've already released. So will they just continue to run their own line in parallel with Anderson? Will the Anderson product and their existing product be merged into one better product going forward? Will they take on Anderson product and make it even better in the future? Only time will tell. And I'm sure like me, you're pretty curious because this is such a new thing for our industry. As I said in the previous video, it's kind of the first of the EV startups to have gone into administration and it's a bit of a learning curve for all of us. But I just wanted to share with you this really good news that at least there is a little bit of hope for Anderson, the product and the company. And we will see in the coming months what's gonna happen with Anderson. I'd love to know all your thoughts in the comments below as to what you think might happen. And if you've got any other news or articles that you'd like to share with us, of course, leave a link in the comments. I will leave links below to the, the email that we got from Anderson and also the website information that's available that we've seen out there so that you guys can have all the latest information. But I just thought it was only fair to share with you this update and to apologize for those of you who were triggered by our little bit of clickbait last time but we felt that it was important for people to know. And to be honest, this is a little bit of a frustrating thing about the YouTube algorithm. We don't like to clickbait people because it is annoying when that happens. But the thing with YouTube is it rewards videos that get clicked on more by pushing them out to a wider audience. So for us as creators, if we want to create videos that are gonna get watched, we have to do something to try and drive people to click on them. We have to try and catch people's attention 
because let's face it, we're all being bombarded with stuff all the time. How do you choose which video you're gonna watch? It has to have something eye-catching. Now, we usually try to reward our viewers for clicking on our videos by making sure that we provide great videos. So I hope to reassure you guys that when you do click on one of our videos, it will be worth watching and hopefully you'll stay and watch the whole video and watch more of our videos afterwards because we put so much time and effort into producing high quality content that is hopefully educational and entertaining and brings a bit of joy to your lives or helps you to feel like you've learned something. So I hope that we do that. I know that we can never please everyone, of course, but to those of our loyal viewers who always come back and watch every video, I really do appreciate all of your support. And I just wanted to take a moment to say that. And from all the team at Artisan Electrics, all the guys and girls working so hard behind the scenes, we really appreciate every one of you who watches our channel because it helps us to continue doing what we're doing day in, day out, and what we love to do, which is provide great electrical work and fantastic electrical YouTube and other platform video content. Which brings me to my next point, which is if you don't yet follow us on Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn, TikTok, make sure you head over there and follow us because we do put out regular content on all of those platforms that we can't put out on YouTube. So it's a way for you guys to get a bit more updates from us, a bit more behind the scenes stuff. And that brings me to Discord as well. We've got a Discord chat server where you can talk about everything electrics with loads of like-minded enthusiasts. And we're just about to hit 1500 members on the Discord. It's completely free to join up. It's just a community to help people to talk about the kind of things that are important to them in the electrical industry. So if that is of interest to you, there is a link below where you can join our Discord for free as well and help us get over that 1500 member threshold. But either way, I just wanted to say thank you and share this bit of good news with you because it is, it's nice to have some good news to share, isn't it? But either way, thanks for watching and have a great day.